Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So, I am down here in Virginia Beach visiting my buddy Matt Downs from Trick Tins, and we're gonna be looking at one of his newest builds today. This thing is super unique. It looks perfect for river fishing in super, super shallow water. We're gonna go take a look at this new jet boat. What's going on guys? Matt Downs with Trick Tens. I'm out here on the river today with my buddy Matt Streichel with SB Fishing TV. I wanted to share my newest project with him. This thing is really cool. It's definitely unique. It's outside of my box. That's the stuff I like building. I got the owner of the boat, Omar, here today with us. We're about to take this thing out in the water, do a little water test. But first, I want to give you all a little history on the boat and then give you the rundown of what we did to the boat. The boat originally started out as a 1648 Express. Now, Omar had his guys take the floor out of the boat. They replaced the floor with 316 thick aluminum. And then on top of that, they have a 3 8 of an inch thick UHMW. And that's gonna allow this thing to run up pretty much over anything that's out there in the water. Now, he brought the boat to me. I helped finish up the bow of it. And then I built the entire interior of this boat, all of the framework, everything. And right now, it's as it sits, it's got about a year's worth of work put into this thing. It's pretty awesome. Let's get inside this boat and I'll give you guys the rundown. All right, so this whole part of this boat was fabricated by me. All of this diamond plate, he brought me a couple sheets of eighth inch aluminum diamond plate when he originally brought the boat and he wanted to use that for this bow. Now the way this old bow was in here, it was just gonna be impossible to make work. So we built all this and it really gives it an industrial look and it's heavy duty and it works out really well. We mounted this Minn Kota Ultrax up here and it just works perfectly. It fits right up here. And then right behind that, got a custom foot pedal tray. And then we've got our big hatch. Now there's not a lot of room up here because this is not a very big boat to have a gigantic four cylinder engine in it. But there's enough room to get up here and fish. This big hatch houses two Dakota Lithium 100 amp hour batteries. And these are basically just for the trolling motor. So right behind that deck, we have our big console. Now I built this entire console. The whole thing was just kind of an idea of some images that he had sent me of other boats that are similar to this. And I kind of just designed this side panel and that gave me the idea of how I was gonna make the rest of it. But it turned out sweet. It's got this little Batman steering wheel on here. All of the components in here are original out of the actual Yamaha jet ski that it came with. But on either sides of this console, I threw in some little day boxes. You can see right here, just a little day box. This one is shallow because right behind that is where the rod locker is. And this rod locker is big. It runs all the way up in the front. It's about eight foot, nine inches long. So you can fit some pretty good sized rods in there. Since this is a jet boat, I kind of tapered them. They look like a jet wing. It's the first time I've built tapered hatches, but they turned out pretty cool. It's a lot smaller in the front than it is in the back carpeted inside of here they didn't have enough turf to do the whole thing but you can fit a lot of rods in there that's a humongous rod locker all right so on the opposite side it's a mirror image keep it symmetrical this day box is a little bit deeper and the pan that's inside of here is removable in case it needs to get up inside of there same thing with this big hatch here now this is not a rod locker but these screws in here make it to where this big pan is completely removable you can pull the whole thing out and get in there and access wires or if you have anything you need to do work on the boat it's definitely cool to have those pans be removable that gets us into the back deck now as i said earlier this boat originally started as a 1648 well when they put the new sheet in the bottom they widened it now it is a 1660 it's a lot wider this back deck is pretty big it has this big hatch in the center that humps up that holds the engine inside of it. But on either side of that, I did throw in two more big storage compartments. Those also have removable boxes in them. Give you a decent amount of room in there. You put your tackle and stuff in there. This one on this side, it's a little bit bigger than that one. It's very important that these are removable though, because this engine is basically a car engine and you need to be able to access it from all sides. I mean, there's a possibility that if something happens to this engine, you may have to pull the entire thing out and replace it. So having adequate room to get around in there and work on this engine is very important in this build layout. Off the back of this boat, obviously it has the jet that sticks out, you know, about eight or 10 inches and has the bucket on the outside of that. So we had to have something to protect that. So we did build a swim platform on here. This thing is made out of inch and a quarter aluminum pipe. I rolled it so that it would sit around the back. It looks aggressive. And we got another diamond plate sheet on top of it. It basically just protects the jet in case you run up over something or back it up into something. You don't want to damage the bucket. All right, so that gets us into this gigantic hatch right here. This thing is monstrous. It was a pain in the butt to build. It took a lot of figuring. Luckily, we got it right the first time because this thing tapers up 
on all four sides and obviously it has to have a hinge and has to be able to open let's just open this thing up and show you guys what we got I've got some gas pistons on here to help hold this thing open because this thing is heavy duty inside of here we've got a 180 horsepower Yamaha jet engine and this thing is loud we have started a couple of times we're getting ready to take this thing out and run it and see what it can do I'm excited about this. I really don't know too much about inboard engines at all, but this boat should handle similar to a jet ski with that UHMW on the bottom of it. it might be a little tricky. Let's go see what this thing can do. Moment of truth. Gosh. All right guys, so all in all, this thing is really sick. I mean, I was super impressed at the way this thing handles. It's gonna take some time to get used to driving a boat like this. I'm not used to it. It's definitely a new creature for me, but it's a lot of fun to drive, man. This thing was flying. We don't actually have a speed rating on it, but I guarantee you this thing was at least doing 45, 50 miles an hour, and it probably had some more out of it. This whole project was a lot of fun. I'm glad to see it finally come to an end, and putting this thing out on the water was really the icing on the cake of this whole deal. If you guys like this boat, I have a full build series on my YouTube channel. You guys can go click the links down below and check out those. There's a lot of good information on there of of how this boat came from nothing to where we are now. Also, if you guys need any products, you can reach me at professionalwelding at gmail.com. There's links in the description to my business. I got all types of metal products, everything that went into this boat I sell. And if you want to build a boat, I can help you design and lay out your own boat and I can ship the parts right to your door. I appreciate hanging out with you guys today. I'll see y'all next time. I gotta get back to work.